waypoint. See the 149. So this terminal here is on uh, Harrington Lake in Central Kentucky, about 20 minutes south of uh, southeast of Lexington. This lake is narrow. It fishes more like a river. As you can see here in this footage, we got a lot of bluff walls in this lake. You know, this lake is straight up and down, deep, 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 and most of the time stained. But we, they just got a ton of rain down there the night before. So the water was dingy, um, kind of like the water I fished up here with the high river, just a little bit muddier than that. Um, so I was comfortable fishing with it, but a lot of local boys uh, said it was one, well, some of the most, most water, muddy water they've seen in a while. Um, as you can see here, we're riding through this uh, idle zone, and then uh, we're off to our first spot. But I just want to kind of lay out here what this lake was like. It's uh, very, very, very deep. I think as soon as we backed off the ramp, we were sitting in 112 feet of water. Um, it was muddy. We had never been on the lake before, never seen it. The only time we saw it was on Google Maps and on my Lawrence with an avionics chip. Um, we kind of, as you'll see in the video, this clip here, we kind of just picked some spots that looked good. We thought we hold fish for this time of year. We kind of put our knowledge of uh, what we've learned through the, through the years of fishing in uh, Kind of pinpointed a few spots on the Lawrence that we thought would uh, hold some fish, and sure enough, um, first spot we pull up to, catch about a two and a half pounder on a jerk bait. Oh, there's a fish, 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 fish. It's too short. Yeah, baby! On the boat! <laughs> what the heck? What the? <laughs> he said it like he was shocked. Don't oh, come here, baby girl. That's a 12 incher, too. Get back in! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's got a gut on it. He might be three pounds. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Did you see how he screamed? Oh my gosh. Oops. Can I get a picture of it? At the way in. Don't worry about it right now. Okay. You can show it off for the camera. Oh yeah, is, is it even on? It's, dude, it's 12 inches. on new measure. Nice <laughs> it's a fatty from Cincinnati. <laughs> what is it? 13? 13 and a half, yeah. Show off the camera. Is it on? Yeah. Is it Alright guys, caught our first one of the day on a jerk bait. Big old fatty. He's stocked up. So as you saw there, um, my buddy Alex picked a fish up off this uh little pocket that was off the main lake. Um, had the wind blowing into it, a natural spring coming out from the back of it, and we caught that fish way, way, way back in the back. Um, I mean, it was only about 100 yards from the main lake. It, you could see the main lake from it, but it had wind blowing the lake water, and that was warmer than what was back there. On top of that, we had a spring coming in right next to it as well. Um, that fish came off of a Lucky Strike RCSTX crankbait, um, this the one he was throwing was a little bit more translucent than this one. Um, fishing that in about four foot of water. That fish was kind of random. It really wasn't sitting on anything. Um, it was just kind of just suspended back there. I guess it was waiting to move up when the sun got up higher in the day, waiting to move up and um, start cruising around. But that was our first fish of the day. Kind of got things started for uh, for us. I mean. It was, it was rough up until that point, but that fish really helped us key in on something else that you'll see later in the video. So, that fish was very, was very crucial for us. Um, as you can tell, Alex got a little excited in the video. <laughs> but hey, that's what fishing's about. There's an excuser from earlier. Scatter? Oh, scatter.
There's one. Is it? Yep. Speed for two. Possibly. No, it's a keeper. No, it's a keeper. Good job, Mike. <laughs> Did you just test your butt? Yes, he did. It's just motivation. That's baseball, dude. Baseball players touch people's butts all the time. Are you wearing a cup? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a goal. You ever see that movie? What? Um, Crocodile Dundee. That's a goal. 14 and a half. How big? 14 and a half. <whistles> you got a partner. So that fish there, as you saw, came from another main lake pocket, um, just off the main lake. You, I mean, it would, you, same scenario as the last one. Had spring coming in, had wind blowing back into it, and that was maybe 30 minutes after we caught the first one. So that first fish really helped us key in on on a on a subtle little bite that we could pick up a two more fish later on in the day with. That fish there came on a Kitek. A little swim bait. Uh, this here is a four inch skinny and I had it on a fourth ounce uh, football head jig. I, I was kind of just reeling out as slow as I could as you can see from the video. It was just crawling it across the bottom. That fish actually missed my lure the first time. I don't know if you can see the rod jump. It missed my lure the first time and then came back and got it. Um, the key to this bait here was the water had a little bit of dinginess to it. So you couldn't get by with just throwing like a clear translucent color like this. You had to throw more of a, a darker profile bait, but what really helped us get those bites was chartreuse in this tail. It kind of just uh, add a little bit more flash to that. But that was fish number two for the day. Um, that was two hours after the tournament started. And uh, as you can see from the next clip, we'll pick another one up here. My goodness. Oh! Yes! Yes! Woo! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Never give up! <laughs> Get the power bowl down, baby! Woohoo! Hey, hey, hey! Put the phone down, let's fish! Come yeah. on! I just got Woohoo! I, you guys I just got another one! Well, yeah, baby! Oh, look at him! Oh, on the point, baby! He's like the jerk, baby! Woohoo! Number three in the lab well! You tried to screw that one up, didn't you, Blake? I about did. Okay, move out of the way. I got him. <laughs> Don't eat the little thing, bro. <laughs> There's no sleeping on the back deck now. <laughs> so as you can see there, um, my buddy Alex picked another fish up off of the same place we caught the first fish. We kind of went, we caught that first fish in the morning, went, and I caught my fish out of another pocket, and we went back to that cove because it just looked so good we had to hit it again. And sure enough, we're all right into there. Um, this time we actually fished a point going into it. Had a lot of wind blowing over it, had a real steep drop off, and that fish was sitting right there on that break. Came up and got him, um, got a Lucky Strike jerk bait. Um, again, that was the Lucky Strike RC STX, but it was more of a translucent color. And, um, yeah, that was fish number three for us. It, that was the biggest fish we, we weighed in for the tournament. Went about just shy of three pounds. Um, really solid, chunky fish. And yeah, as you can see in the video, my net job wasn't too good. <laughs> I kind of, the back hooks of the jerk bait got stuck in the net. And fortunately, the fish decided to swim towards me and not away from me and swam right into the net. So <laughs> we got that one. Um, like I said, that was fish number three. We have one more we weighed in. I'll throw a picture in at the end of the video of the four fish we weighed in, but the uh, SD card on my GoPro filled up before we caught that fish. Uh, the fourth fish we caught was at 319. We had to be back at check-in at 330. Um, 
It was kind of like one of those last second heroics kind of things. Uh, very fortunate we had that fish. It really helped us. That's as what bumped us from uh, four, from fifth to fourth. And with that fourth place finish, we qualified for, for uh, Kentucky Bass Nation State at uh, Kentucky Lake in September. So we'll probably fish. Me and Alex will probably fish a few more here and there. Um, probably not as much now that we've qualified for state. But uh, you guys will definitely see me down there uh, at Kentucky Lake in September for the. Kentucky Junior State Championship. So, you guys stay tuned. Um, with more videos to come. I got another tournament coming up here in about two weeks uh, at Barron River. So that should be a good one. Fish are moving up. Just get, get probably getting ready to spawn on that on that lake. So that'll be a fun tournament. You guys should uh, stay tuned for that. And you got more coming towards you. So you now as you saw in the video, you saw us catch two fish on jerk baits and uh, one more that is not in the video that got uh, that the GoPro didn't catch it. Um, the jerk base we were throwing, well, Alex was throwing a Lucky uh, Lucky Strike RCSTX jerk bait. Um, he was throwing his in more of a translucent kind of a a ghost shad kind of color, had a little chartreuse on the stomach and uh, a little bit of yellow on the top. Um, I had thrown this uh, Lucky Strike jerk bait here. Uh, the water was just there was the sun never really the clouds never came out so the sun was bright all day. Um, this dark color just wasn't getting the job done. So I had switched over to the Lucky Craft Pointer 100 in more of a, like a, a clear translucent color like this here with a brown top. And that still wasn't just getting enough flash that I wanted. So I wound up picking up this Mega Bass uh, Vision 110 jerk bait. And that was this jerk bait here and the Lucky Strike jerk bait was the ticket for this tournament. Um, we were throwing these lures on seven foot medium action moderate rods. Um, I was throwing mine on a Fenwick Atos rod, 12 pound Seaguar Red Label, and an Aura SX. Um, Alex was throwing his on a Ebu Garcia Pro Max with a, um, a Vengeance. Abu Garcia rod, seven foot, medium, moderate. Um, that's what he called his fish on. And then another key lure for us was the Kitek Swing Impact four inch swim baits. Uh, not in this particular color, but we caught all of our fish on this little lure here with a chartreuse tail. And we also caught some more fish on a um, Gary Yamamoto Swim Senko. Um, we chartreuse in the tails on both of these just because the water was muddy. Kind of gave a little bit more extra flash and more bulk to the bait. Um, Alex was throwing his on a 7 foot 2 medium action um, fast tip spinning rod. I was throwing mine on a medium heavy moderate fast action bait caster with a, an Aura SX on a Fenwick Atos rod. Um, 15 pound Seagull Red Label. Um, I threw mine on a heavier rod. Heavier rod with a softer tip just because the bait was a really light bait. We were throwing a fourth ounce heads but we were fishing in about eight foot of water and we were just ticking the rocks and uh, making long 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 casts because these fish are real skittish. So I wanted a rod I could really set the hook with and um, so this is the rod I was throwing was a seven foot medium heavy moderate fast action bait caster Fenwick Atos or SX. Those are the two key lures for us um, during the tournament. We didn't catch a little fish on anything else except for these two. Um, we had tried throwing spinner baits, crank baits and all that kind of stuff but nothing seemed to work as good as the jerk bait and the little swim bait. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you guys want to see anything else. Thank you guys.